I'm gonna ask everybody a question. Somebody walked in here right now and just slapped you across the face. Okay, it'd be like, dude, what the hell? If they came back around again and did this, would you guys be ready? Well, why aren't salespeople ready when somebody hits them with an objection twice? What are people sick of? Amateurs, am I right? You walk into most companies and all you see is amateurs. That's why today I wanna to build leaders. My hands stable, I feel able to turn the tables, I could do this. Just keep moving, keep your hands up, stupid. I feel we, we've got to make an agreement today. Number one, we're going to get information. Okay, and you're going to go to every other sales event like you did before your training, and you leave the exact same. Or today, I can give you the cold hard truth, and we can have a transformation. Which means when you leave, you'll actually think different, you'll act different, you'll believe different, you'll do things different. And nobody's going to do anything different until they think different. Would you agree? Yes. You know, I sit back sometimes, I see people sit on the sidelines, and that's not me. I don't care what anybody thinks about me, I know what I want. I've painted the picture in my head, and I'm going to attack it viciously. And people aren't going to like that. There's a lot of people that, some of you right now, the reason why you don't have anything, you don't have the dream life you want, you don't have the checking account, you don't have the dream girl, or your marriage isn't on fire, your children don't look up to you as a hero, Again, your team doesn't admire you, you're not their leader, and you look in the mirror and at the end of the day, you don't like who you see. It's because a lot of you worry about what other people think. And a lot of you, you don't have a clear vision in your head of who you wanna become. And if you can't see who you wanna become, I assure you, you'll never become it, okay? I get judged all the time, people wanna to try to figure out how everybody's doing something great, they gotta, be, they gotta be a bad person, they're just waiting for you to mess up. I'm gonna mess up. So are you, so is everybody. I can tell you so many times in my life when I've decided to go all in, and by the way, when did I change? Usually in rooms like this. Usually when I wanted to go to another level, what I did is that I got around people that were on another level and proximity just changed me. You know, it's like, it, what do you guys want? You want your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife to admire you? You want them to look up to you? You guys want to look in the mirror and get better every day? You want if you're a leader in this room? By the way, sales and leadership will have you dominate the, the world. The two most important things you'll ever learn in your life, sales and leadership. You learn sales, you don't learn leadership, you'll, you'll be broke. Today is about a couple different things. I'm gonna teach you to sell and close, that's easy. I'm gonna teach you word tracks, but word tracks aren't enough. I'm gonna teach you tonality. I bet a lot of you in here think, if I could just know what to say at the time I need to say it, I'd be rich. Well, no, actually the tonality you use with the words that you say is actually more important than the words. The mindset which you carry into the deal is actually more important than the tonality. And we keep preaching mindset and you don't wanna learn it. You wonder why you're broke. You wonder why you can't get through an obstacle. You wonder why you can't scale fast enough. Mindset sucks. Okay, once you develop a nine-figure mindset, nine figures come. And I know that because I built a nine-figure business in three years from zero. And so can you. And by, you can do whatever you want. I don't want you to be me today. What I want you to do is I want to wake you up today. Okay, you want to go back a different person. You want to go back the standard. And, and really in a world where nobody has standards anymore, I hear everybody talk a lot about goals. I got goals. Who gives a shit? What's your standards? See, because what you're getting in life now is in direct to your standard. I can grab organizations right now that literally are making less money than last year, but yet they still haven't trained their team. Their team still can't overcome common objections. Simple stuff. I need to think about it. I've got to get back with you. I've got to talk to my wife. Same, same stuff happens every day. I'm going to ask everybody a question. Somebody walked in here right now and just slapped you across the face. Okay? It would be like, dude, what the hell? If they came back around again and did this, would you guys be ready? Yeah. Yeah. Well, why aren't salespeople ready when somebody hits them with an objection twice? Yeah. No standards. Where do they get that from? The leaders. Dude, I, I could grab all you guys right now and I could say, is your education bu budget higher than your entertainment budget? I mean, for real, like you guys really want to learn, you really want to become as successful as you want, let's pull your bank statement. Let's go look at how much money you're spending on yourself and investments. I'll be willing to bet the entertainment budget's through the roof. Clothes, food, bullshit, going to the store, anything. But the education budget, you, you, gotta, you guys gotta really think about that. My wife sits down with me for the first time, we're in our 20s. She goes, we're gonna pay off our house. $800,000 house, she goes, we're gonna pay it off in two years. I said, that's physically impossible. She goes, your limited beliefs is what's hurting us. Your false beliefs are what's hurting us. Andy, you're in the automotive business. You understand you're in a vehicle that's a level 10 earning opportunity. Do you get that? I said, yes. She goes, okay, you're earning three, 400 grand a year. You can make 800 grand a year, but you're not. You know why? Because you don't want to. Because if you wanted to, you wouldn't be. That's how this works. She goes, there's internal and external shit. External, I support you. What's your problem? 
Okay? Most wives won't support their husbands to go all in. Hey, I want to be included, but I'll support you to go hard. I'll support you in training. I'll support you in, you know, building a team. I'll support you in whatever we need. Internally, we have an issue. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. And I'm going to tell you, man, my mom left when I was two. This is no victim story. Okay. I don't know what y'all's story is, but I'm going to tell you this. Your story dies today and you're going to write a new one. Now, it doesn't mean that it's gone. It means that you're going to write a new one. And my, mom, my mom's a loser. She's a loser, right? And I hear people like, you don't understand what I've been through. Dude, if my mom was a piece of shit, wouldn't I be the best parent ever? I hear some people, they're like, man, my dad was an asshole, and that's why I'm an asshole. Dude, what a dumb ass, man. Like, like you got beat, so like you beat your kids? Like, how stupid is that? I hear people say, oh, you understand, alcohol's ran in my family forever. What? How stupid. Have you heard yourself? Like, listen, like, you know what I know? I know the real leaders in this room, the shit they didn't have as a kid, they want to give to other people as an adult. Number one, I didn't have any love as a kid. Which is number two, why as an adult, I give people a lot of love. So as I talk to you today, I want you to understand, if somebody gets their feelings hurt, it's because you don't understand where my heart's at. My heart is I want to change you. Today, as I talk to some of you, I want you to understand, I want to protect you. I want you to get your dreams. I want you to get your goals. I want you to quit making false promises to your family. A lot of you in here have made a lot of false promises to your family. You said, babe, give me three years. I'll have us in a better situation. I promise. You know, I know the kids are young now. Three years, they'll be older. We're going to be here. And you let three years go by. You're still not there. That's what losers do. We're going to get our shit. We're going to get it fast. I'm going to tell you a little secret about me. I like to compress time frames. I'm not patient. I have very aggressive patience. People tell me shit takes time. I say, you don't want it bad enough. That's an excuse. You've already failed to get it quick. Because I don't think it takes time. Hell yeah. I think I can get it right now. I think if I'm broke, I think I go out today and I make 100 grand. I think I go out today and make a million. And you can too. I'm going to explain something to you. If you don't train yourself, how in the hell can you get a different external life? How can it happen? You know the shit you know in here is what happens out here, right? You guys get that? So, so again, I'm going to go back to a manager. A manager sees that an inventory market has shifted. He goes, damn, got a market shift. What does he do? He says, my guys need more information to be ready for this next market shift. They need to be ready. In a world where nobody's prepared and everybody's an amateur, my people ain't going to be amateurs. You want to take over the world? It's simple. What are people sick of? Amateurs. Am I right? You walk into most companies and all you see is amateurs. That's why today I want to build leaders. That's why today, if you are a salesman, I need you to understand, I'm going to teach you how to sell, but I'm going to teach you leadership is about self-leadership first, which means if you can't lead yourself, no one else is going to be led by you. Notice my wife, she's here with me. You know why? Because I'm going to tell you something. I was told when I was young that you can't have it all. My manager, the only mistakes that he told me is he goes, Andy, listen to me. You can't afford to have relationships in this business. They don't last. They get in the way. I'm just being truthful. You can make a lot of money, but the second you get in a relationship, you're going to get comfortable. And guess what? You're going to lose. So everybody that I was around, I just freaking treated them like crap because I didn't want to be around anybody. Guys, how many times do you see families get divorced because of entrepreneurship, sales, and leadership? All the time, dude. Is that what you want to show your people? You want to show your people how to go home, be to your family? So my wife, when I met her, she goes, listen, I'm going to tell you the number one thing, and I need you guys to all know this. If you'll learn from me, I'm going to teach you how to have it all. I want you to be fit. Why? Because you have to have a good self-image. Nobody's going to say yes to you, and they're not going to buy from you if you don't have a good self-image. And I'm not fat shaming anybody. Okay, I just need you to understand how important it is. Secondly, you want to live a long time? You want to make a lot of money and then die early and let somebody else take care of your family and your money? No. This is what I want with you guys. Number one, mindset, skill set, habits. When you leave here today, what I want you to do is see a new you. We're going to take a lot of notes. But my number one thing is this. What's written will be retained. I want you guys to embed in your mind who you want to become. I want your image to change. The way that you see yourself, I want it to shift. I don't care where you came from. I don't care how broken you are. I know this. Hurt people hurt people, or you can turn your wounds into your weapon. And I decided that all the shit that I've been through, the mistakes that I made, I decided it's time for me to change and I'm going to become dangerous. 
And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have heaven on earth. Everybody say heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. That means get rich and help everybody along the way. You're either gaining ground or losing ground. You're either getting better, you're getting sharper, or you're getting duller. That's the way it works. Guys, you want to coast? The only place you coast is down. Guys, this is a time right now where the unfair advantage is to train. Okay, it's to self-develop. The greatest advice I could ever give anybody in this room is this. Most of you, you'll develop to a certain point where you make a certain amount of money. And once you get there, you're going to stop. And you're going to slow down. And I'm going to dissolve you. You will no longer compete with me no more. That's what I want you to do. I want you to realize that everybody that's in your industry, all of them, they're going to stop at some point. It may not be today. It may be next year. But I will dissolve them. I won't beat them. I will perish them. They will not exist. They cannot compete. They are not like us. Okay? People don't have business problems. They have personal problems. If you don't like who you are in the mirror, I assure you, you're going to bring shit to work. I will teach you that whatever you want, you can have. Period. And it ain't no bullshit. This is real life. This is how this thing works. This is why physically we get fit, okay? Mentally, we become stronger. Instead of mentally breaking, we break records. In a world full of people becoming mentally screwed up every day, why? Because of the food we eat, nobody's exercising, nobody's taking care of themselves, and they wonder why they crack on problems. Okay? We're made to suffer, dude. Most of you, dude, a thousand years ago, we were freaking out in battles, killing people. You guys are made to be killers, not made to be soft. Now we don't kill people. Now we dominate in business. And as we become adults, our new sport is business. Our new sport is our family. Okay? And I take it very seriously, and I don't want to lose to anybody. But that's what a leader does, and then he sets the standard for everybody else in the company, men and women. You want to get close to God? You want, to, you want to have your wife or husband admire you? You want your children to look up to you as your hero? You want to look in the mirror and be proud of you? You want to be physically fit and lead your team? Well, today's the day. And by the way, you don't have to agree with me. But I'll show you, if you'll follow this blueprint, it's over. How would you like every time somebody met you, they said, every time we meet, we haven't even done business yet. It's exceptional. I said, we haven't even done business yet. See, some to you, you won't give people your best until they prove to you that they're going to buy. Okay? And I mean it. I'm, hey, I'm just telling you the truth today. A lot of you guys, you don't think somebody's going to buy something today? Somebody called, they're just getting, hey, man, I'm six months out. I'm going to buy, you know, when I'm, I'm next year. Hey, you've never committed to me to buy something. I didn't need you to. You know what I knew? I knew how you viewed other people that were in my space. You know what I was going to prove to you, whether you do business or not with me? I was going to show you how I, how I rep this new deal. I'm different than anybody else you've seen. So how are people going to think after they meet you? You know what I did? I got a lawn chair. I looked over, everybody sitting inside, reading the newspapers. 1999. Grab a lawn chair, I go out to the gate. Put it right in the middle of the gate. I sat there all day long. Burnt. Every time somebody pulled in, how you doing? Andy Elliott. Uh, sales, sales or service? Service? Nice, come on. I'll show you where it's at. By the way, Johnny, amazing and service advisor over there. You can go see him. By the way, can I give you my card? For some reason, if they give you a bill, it's too high. I don't know, anything. You, if you need me, you're tired of waiting, you need a cup of coffee. You just call me, I'll be right over. So many of those people found their way back to me. You know why? Those are my people. They weren't ready today, but they were going to be ready at some point, and I was going to be their guy. I wish you guys would realize that everybody, everywhere you go is your next customer. I treat everybody that I run into that I want to make an impact in which they'll never forget me for the rest of their life. That's what I want to see you do from now on. Guys, if you work for a company right now, if you work for a company and you want to kill it, look, I sometimes go home at 11 o'clock at night. I don't want to. I said I was going to be home at 8. Stuff happens. I hate it. It's part of the business. But when my wife knows, when I come home every night, and I'm like, oh, man, babe, you should have seen all the families we helped today. It was crazy. Life's absolutely unreal. Number one, our company, the culture's through the roof. I love it. Super fired up. Give her a big kiss. Say, baby, you're number one to me. Thank you for supporting me. Let me work these long hours. I know one day all this is going to pay off. We're not going to have to do this. But right now, dude, I'm just telling you, you're the best. I miss you today. I'm, you know what? I'm going to put my phone down. Let's go spend an hour together. She'll, she'll let you work till 11 o'clock every night. Am I right? Yeah. She don't care. You know what she cares about? Are you where your feet are? 
When you're at work, you work 10 hours, you work 20 hours, you don't care. When you come home, do you cut it off and you're at home with them? My wife taught me a lesson when we were younger. She goes, listen, I don't care how hard you work, I don't care how much you make, I need to be number one when you come home. The per you wanna know where your greatest superpower lies? Right here. Your partner at home, the reason why I said you should grow with them. See, this self-development journey that you are on, a lot of you are here today, but I'm gonna challenge you the next time that you go to something which you need to go all the time, take them with you. Yep. You think your family don't understand? They understand. More than you think. More than you think. But I want you to understand some. Write this down, master communicator. All right, so a master communicator is how you're gonna close every client, and I'm gonna tell you how you're gonna do it. Number one, you're gonna make it easy to say yes to. Okay, so, so whatever words we learn, we're gonna learn how to make it easy to say yes to. Like your words are gonna flow like water and people are gonna wanna say yes quickly. What industries do we have in this room? Solar. Solar, what else? Solar. What? Roofs. Mortgage. Mortgage, roofs, pools, automotive. Construction, all right, all right, all right. Solar guy, get up here. Come on, okay, all right, what's up baby? All right, you do solar? Just started, 30 days. Okay, so have you knocked the door yet? No, I do virtual. Okay, you do it on the phone? I'm on the phone. Okay, cool. All right, what about you? Mm -hmm. uh, manager. Okay, but you know how to sell it, Yeah. right? Okay, get over here, come on. I literally flew out to a large, large automotive company and we were talking about training their team. And what I learned is I said, hey guys, you obviously want your team better. Would you mind if I skill tested you guys for a minute? And they're like, us? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like, like, like you guys, right? Because like, why would my people wanna do something that I can't do? You know, why, you know why my sales guys look up to me? You know why they look up to me? I'm still the best. And the second I'm not the best, I'll no longer be their leader. Just so you're aware. You can lean into your title as much as you want, okay? I'm, not, I'm gonna be unkillable. I'm not getting replaced. That's a decision you make, and that's why we self-develop, okay? Rule number one, rule number one, don't ever let anybody else know your business better than you, ever. Rule number two, try to figure out how to kick your own ass every day. I'm gonna start with you, Jackson. All right. Okay, now Jackson, do you, do you go to people's doors? Do both. Close okay. Them. All right, Jackson, speak into the mic. All right, guys. All right, so here's what I want you to do. Everybody write this down. Flunk or pass? You got whistles. Everybody, everybody see the whistle? Two rules about the whistle. Don't blow your neighbor's whistle. Okay, because that's weird. Okay, all right, number two. If, hey, hey, hold on. Don't, don't be an today but if somebody gets triggered we guys mind hit that whistle that's why we have that's why we have whistles yeah that's how we hit them now are you ready guys here's what we're gonna do does everybody understand what solar is okay here we go he's gonna knock on my door I'm gonna knock I'm gonna open it and he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna pitch me is that cool and when he's done you're gonna say flunk or pass okay and speak into your mic because I need him to hear you. I'm not on your door. Yeah, yeah, you knocked on the door. I open it. <laughs> I open the door. Go. How's it going? Is this the uh, Elliott residence? Yes. Awesome, man. My name is Jackson. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. What's up? Good, man. The reason I'm stopping by today, I'm not sure if you're paying attention to it. Last month, Tico, it sent out a notice. It was on the back side of your bill. It was in regards to net meter. Do you recall seeing that? No. All right, man. Well, this is what's going on. 80% of the people, uh, a lot of people have just moved to Florida. They're pulling 80% of their power now from Georgia. It costs money to move energy. You're paying for it. Everyone's bill went up in April. Did you see the rate increase that happened in April? I don't even pay attention. That's all right, man. No worries. It also happened in January, too. So everyone's bill's going up. I have to go, too. My bill's going up just the same. Do you remember three to four years ago, they came and switched out your meter to the digital meter? It used to be the old analog one. Do you remember when they did that? Were you at this house like three years ago? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, no worries. So they came and switched out your meter. What they were doing, man, they were prepping your home for something called net meter. Your, it used to be analog, now it's digital, it can actually go backwards. What that means to you, if your home is a good fit for Tico's net meter, you're able to do three things. 
The first thing is you can cut your bill down 40%. Second thing is- Listen, number one, I'm, I'm really not interested. Of course, man, no worries. I'm not here to you know, gauge interest. I'm here to give you information. It pertains directly to you. I'm sure you've noticed the bill's going up. Everything has gone up. Chicken, food, gas. Have you noticed gas going up? Yeah, so what are we trying to do here? So with your bill increase, this is a way you can lock in your rates. So you never have to pay for the rate increases again. Miss Mary down the street. Okay, stop. Oh. Hold on. Do you guys understand what he's talking about? Okay, everybody write this down. You ready? Rule number one, a confused mind does nothing. Just write it down. A confused mind does nothing, okay? Now, I want you to understand. I know what he wants to do. Now, by the way, listen to me. I'm not judging him. You, you guys get to decide. If he knocked on your door, would you guys be interested, yes or no? Why not? Too long, too much information, don't understand. Does that make sense? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. All right, let's, let's have you roll. Come on, let's roll. Hey, by the way, I want to see you. All right? All right, here we go. All right, knock on the door. All right, knock on the door, ready, go. Hello? Hey, how you doing? My name is Christian. I'm, uh, I'm a Sunday night meeting. I'm sure you've probably never heard of that, right? Right. Yeah, uh, absolutely. So I tell you, you've lived here for... Here, there you go, just speak into it, yeah. Cool. So uh, I tell you, you've lived here for two, three years? Yes. Absolutely. So I'm following up on that mirroring program. Again, I'm sure you've probably never heard of that. Anyway, so FPL, they came around and swapped out your old analog meter on the side of your home to a new digital one. And so, I mean, since then, a lot of the neighbors around here, they've noticed their higher rate increases. I'm sure you've noticed the same, right? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So anyway, so I'm not sure if you know Miss Janice, few doors down. She's been seeing the higher rates. Uh, her bill's been about 120. What's your highest bill at? I'm not even sure. I'd have to look it up. You're not sure? Yeah, no, I mean, absolutely. So, I mean, everyone's in the realm of 120. I'm sure you're right around there. This is a big home. And so, I mean, with that being said, it's like what I'm doing for her is I'm taking her higher 120 bill. So, I'm now for a lower fixed rate through solar. Now, I'm sure you probably looked into solar in the past, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I don't see any panels on your roof, so I'm sure, what? Just cost too much out of pocket? 10, 15 grand? I didn't, I didn't really look into it. Oh, you didn't really look into it? Okay, awesome, man. So, I mean, what, what was the reason you didn't look into it? I'm not interested in it. You're not interested? Yeah, no, I mean, absolutely. So there's always a reason why, and it's really that simple. It's like, dude, all we're doing is saying your high 120 bill, that's gonna keep going month to month. Okay, okay, all right, hold on. Okay, do you guys hear him? Now listen, I wanna, I wanna ask you something. What's a master communicator? Read it back to me. Did I say yes to anything? Hard to say no, he's gonna say yes. Yeah, but did I say yes to anything yet? No. Okay. Do people need more information or they need a transformation? Okay, are you going to help people or are you going to sell people? Help. Does he sound like you're selling me? Yes. Okay, I'm not, I'm not being negative. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to challenge the way he sells. Yeah. Is that cool? I've never sold a solar panel in my life. Okay, you know what? If I did, I'd probably knock on Brett's door. I'd say, hi, Brett, how you doing? My name's Andy Elliott. My company's been allocated to this area because research shows in the next 12 to 18 months, utility bills are going to double or triple. Look, I've got two quick questions to ask you and I'll be on my way. Question number one. Do you believe you'll use energy all the days of your life? Will you always have it or do you ever see yourself running your house off candles? Probably energy, right? Okay. Number two, do you believe inflation's real? Yes or no? Things cost more money. Well, since you answered yes to the first two questions, energy, you're gonna have it all the days of your life. And number two, inflation is real. I'm gonna ask you a third question. If your current energy company raised your bill to $5,000 a month, if you didn't pay it, you would have to run your house off candles, which you said you'd never do, am I right? So if there was a secondary energy option that was available, which I'm sure you bought this house, you probably only had one to plug into and get. If there was a second energy option, which was available, which would keep you inflation proof, no matter what energy costs went up to, and it would save you money, would you want to know about it? Yes or no? Oh, yeah. Sir, my name is Andy Elliott. My name is Andy Elliott. I'm with ABC Solar. My job is to get the information from the people who have it, which is ABC uh, Solar, to the people who need it, which is you, the homeowner. That's how I'm going to start the conversation. What did I do? Made it easy to say yes to. Was it easy for you to say yes to me? Yes. I made it hard to say no to. Was it hard to say no to the secondary energy option? I'm going to ask you a question. If you qualified for a secondary energy option, would you keep you inflation proof and save you money? Would you mind if I gave you that information? Would that be okay today? Because you probably didn't know there was one. Would, would you agree? Okay. Cool. That's all I want to do is give you the information. In the end, it's completely your decision. Is that fair? Easy to say yes to, hard to say no to, and I made it the client's idea every single time. What is I made? I made it his idea to get more information from me. 
You know what I'll tell you? I do things different than everybody else in the world. I don't talk like anybody. Do you guys want to talk like everybody else? No. You guys want to get different results than everybody else? Yes. Wordplay. Find some new language. Find a new way to speak. Stop pitching people. People are going to buy everything you have if it helps them. Do you guys understand that? Does everybody in the world need to know about a secondary energy option if you sell solar, if they qualify, yes or no? Do you think they would want to know? Brett, tell me you're not interested. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I totally understand. Most people aren't because they don't understand it. Look, I'm going to make a simple parallel, and then if you don't want any more information, I'll be on my way. Notice how I keep saying I'll be on my way? Why? So I can take it out of his head to think about me being on my way. I constantly keep putting it back to peace, and then I'll be on my way, okay? Look, all I want to do is give you the information, and in the end, in the end it's completely your decision. Is that fair? Let's do it. What did I do? I rewrapped his ass. You know why? Common sense. Everybody say common sense. Common sense. Closers, the hard close era is gone. Sell like a lion, act like a lamb. Everybody knows enough information. People understand common sense, how things work. People have access to a computer. You don't need to get geek out on product knowledge. I don't even know how solar works. I don't need to know. You know what I know? I know if it helps people. I know if it's a great product. I know that I can get people interested in it. You guys, can I ask you a question? Are you going to get anybody's business if you're not an interesting person? You know what I know? I know cool people go broke. I know people that aren't afraid to go out and make new friends, shake hands and say hi to people and smile and give first. I know those are the new era, those are the new winners. Okay, everybody in this world seems so afraid if there's nothing in it for them to go up and say hi to someone else anymore. We literally, I told you, people have to, you have to almost prove that you're gonna buy before people give them their best. And by the way, what is rejection? Rejection is something you get when you're an amateur. Listen to me, if, you, if you're gonna come to my store and you're gonna buy a car, you're gonna buy a car because you're gonna buy it from me. Whether I have a right car or not, you're gonna buy it from me because you like me, okay? You're gonna be more scared that you're gonna not go find me at the next store, so you're gonna buy what I have, than more scared that there's a better car at another store. I'm gonna be the person that they never believe existed. You think people get treated great at work every day? No. Do you think most people feel important and significant? No. What's everybody want? Feel important. Who's going to make sure that happens? Me. I know that nobody else in my industry, my space, that's going to come against me is going to treat anybody better than me. And by the way, in life, sometimes we tend to think that we're better than other people. We ain't better than nobody else. We all have access to the same resources. Question is, who's using them? You're going to decide who you want to be. You're going to envision it, which is why I like to train live in person. And you're going to, you're going to alter your identity. Like you're literally going to have an identity shift in this room if you pay attention today. And then when you leave here, you know what you're going to do? You're going to do everything you can to protect it every second of the day. And all the people around you, they'll never leave you. And they'll get better because you're getting better. Does that make sense? The problem with companies now are people aren't getting better. See, I believe in human capital, okay? There's, there's inventory, there's marketing, there's buildings, and then there's people. Everybody tends to focus on the marketing, the inventory, the expenses, but not the people. I watch, I watch companies spend more money on toilet paper than they spend on training their teams. Can I ask you a question? Is it the customer's job to pay for your team's training? Go look at your training budget right now, and I'm willing to bet, if you looked at how much money that you're making now and how much money you want to increase, I bet the training budget with your team isn't increasing. The goal is to make it easy to say yes to, hard to say no to, and make it the client's ID every single time. Listen to me, when I go to somebody's house and they got shit going on and I knock on their door, like, like they ain't got time for me. Unless like I say something that they want to make time for me. Am I right? So what do I say? Hi, my name's Andy Elliott. By the way, what do I do? Put my hand on my chest. Hi, my name's Andy Elliott. Like that. Hi, how you doing? Why? Because I'm respectful. Are most solar guys in their 20s? Yeah. Most? Yeah. yeah. How old are most homeowners? In their 40s, 50s? When they see someone that comes up to their door talking to them about saving money that's the same age as their children, what do you think they think? Get off the porch. <laughs> so what do you got to do? You got to impress them very quickly. Does that make sense? That's why I say... Hi, how you doing? Hey, sir, how you doing? My name's Andy Elliott. My company has been allocated. Why say allocated? 
Like, dude, we've been brought in. My company's been allocated to this area. Research shows in the next 12 to 18 months. And I say now, no. Do I want them to go, hey, your utility bill just went up. I said, I haven't paid attention. Well, where am I going with that now? I don't know, pay attention. Now your point's going nowhere. Does that make sense? So what am I gonna sell? Future expectations. Hey, research shows in the next 12 to 18 months, utility bills are gonna double or triple. Listen, I got two quick questions to ask you, then I'll be on my way, unless you want some additional information. Question number one, do you believe you'll use energy all the days of your life? See all this that's getting powered? It's all by energy, the lights and everything. Do you believe you'll use it forever? Or do you ever think you'll run your house off candles? Probably not, right? Cool, you'll have energy. Question number two, do you believe inflation is real? Do you think things are costing more money, yes or no? Absolutely. Cool, so if you're gonna use energy forever and you believe inflation is real, let me ask you a third question. If you're an energy company, which you probably don't have any other option, right, except to go with them because that's who you signed up with when you bought your house. They probably told you that's who to use. If they raised your energy bill 3x, if you didn't pay it, you would have to run your house off candles, which you would never do, which means you have no control of your energy bill and they could take advantage of you. Am I right? As you, the homeowner, if there was a, if, if there was a second ener energy option, a secondary one, in which you could save money and be inflation proof and you couldn't get taken advantage of. Would you want to know about it? What do they say? Yes. I've gotten to say yes four times in 30 seconds. At that point in time, I'm going to say, hi, my name is Andy Elliott. I'm with ABC Solar for the first time I do a real introduction. My name's Andy with ABC Solar. Once I shake his hand, we make a real connection now. See, I'm not going to shake his hand at the door yet. I'm going to get a couple yeses in. I'm going to go for the handshake after he says, I can, I see, I've earned the right to give more information. And if they say they're not interested, just say, hey, I totally understand. Most people are because they either got some information from an amateur or they don't have enough information. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm going to ask one question and then I'll be on my way. What do I keep saying? Then I'll be on my way. If I'm at their door, I know that they want you to be on your way. So I'm going to say it first and then I'll be on my way. Do you like to be in control of your money? Yes or no? Well, you're currently not. Would you like to have the option too? Yeah? Hi, my name is Andy Elliott. Bam! I'm going back in on him again. Do you guys feel me? But I know the odds. If I can get people to say yes early on, I'm going to do well. Okay? So everybody give it up for these guys. Come on. Everybody give it up for these guys. All right. Okay, give me another industry. Okay, moving. Come here. Come on, give me a moving gun. Come on. But, but this is going to take two seconds. I'm going to ask him a simple question. Okay? All right. Hold on, come here. I'm gonna borrow you. Come here, what's your name? Tyler. Okay, Tyler. Okay, give Tyler the mic. Give Tyler the mic. Tyler. All right, Tyler, Tyler, everybody. Tyler, what's the number one objection you get? Um, come on, simple. Give me the number one objection. Let me talk to my wife. Okay, or cool. My husband. Okay, cool. Ready? I'm gonna hit you with the first. Hey, Tyler, I appreciate it, but I gotta talk to my wife. You just gave me an estimate. Go. I understand that, for sure. Um, one thing that we can do is I can get them involved right now. We can, uh, we can get them on the phone and talk to them, see if- Were uh, you talking to me? Okay. I gotta talk to my wife. All right. That sounds good. Yeah, I completely understand. Yeah, that's a common, that's a common thing in our industry. We wanna, we wanna make sure that we address that. But what we can do is we can go ahead and call your wife right now, and we can talk to her uh, with you. That way she can, she can understand the estimate. She can understand the, um, what we're gonna provide to you for your service, for your upcoming move. And you guys can understand that together, and then we can address any questions that you may have now. Okay, listen, I'm, I'm gonna make it simple. If I was to talk to your wife right now, I know the number one question she's gonna ask. She's gonna say, hey, this is my house, I love the home. You probably don't pick out everything in the house she does, am I correct? Yeah. Okay, her job, her number one concern is gonna be make sure that everything gets there properly without being broken, it gets moved in properly, and everything's a smooth system. Because no matter what you pay, if it's not a smooth system, she's gonna be pissed off, am I right? Right. So hypothetically, if we already talked to your wife and she said, let's do it, would we do it? Yeah. Okay, so if I tell you that I'm going to get everything there on time, I'm going to get everything moved in, we're not going to break nothing, everything's insured, and the liability is higher than any other moving company in the world, we already know she's going to say yes. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay, listen, so you're going to be the hero that's going to take all the headache out of the deal. I'm going to get this wrapped up, and you're going to call her and tell her that you did the research, you made sure that all of her stuff that she loves is going to get there safe, and you can, and you can guarantee it. And if you could guarantee it, that would probably take a lot of headache out of her. She's probably doing a lot of their heavy burden stuff right now and getting ready for this move. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay, so we don't frustrate her anymore. If I can guarantee this and ensure this, we wouldn't have any reason not to move forward. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay, then let's wrap this up. What card do you want to put it on? No, push through. Here, here's my deal. Listen to me. Push through. Hey, what do wives care about? What do wives care about? Don't mess with my shit in my house. Right? Don't mess with my stuff in my house. What did he do? He said, let's call her. We don't need to call her. We already know what she's going to say. She's gonna say, honey, is this company gonna get my stuff in there on time? 
Is this company going to get this stuff moved in in the right place so I don't have to worry about it being stressed out because I know how stressful being, moving is? Is this company going to ensure that when they say they're going to do something, we know that 99% of moving companies that say they're going to do something, they end up late, stuff ends up broken, and then I end up very disappointed. Can you ensure me that there'll be no disappointment at all? That's what she's going to say. And if I can ensure all that right now, why wouldn't we move forward? Would you agree? He didn't have enough confidence. He didn't have enough confidence. He doesn't believe in the product enough. He's more laid into the objection, eating out of their hand instead of having them eat out of his hand. Whose moving company is this? His. Whose customer is this that he's taking care of? His. What's his job? His job is to put the customer at peace and say, dude, no big deal. Listen, man, this isn't about money. This is about everything getting there right, being stress-free. This is about one of the most stressful things in the world for a consumer is a move. This is about a one call, get everything done. Y'all don't have to worry about nothing. Y'all head there, we'll meet you there, it's good. Would you agree? And the first person that can provide that, they'll grab a credit card, you'll get yourself set up right, it'll be the best decision of your life, and it'll keep all stress away from you and mama. And I know that taking care of your wife is extremely important. Listen, I've seen these moves go south. I've heard a lot of nightmares about other moving companies, and that's not us. That's why I know from having a wife, because I've got one, I know this, if it doesn't show up right, it shows up late and things aren't done right, she's going to be pissed. And since you called, you're the one that's going to take the heat. So if I can ensure and I can guarantee that there won't be a problem here, we don't have a problem. Am I right? right. Sir, I, I, I put my word. You know what an ironclad handshake is? It's where I reach out my hand, you shake it, and I give you the old gentleman's agreement, and I promise you have nothing to worry about. I'm reaching through the phone and giving one right now. Can you see it? Give me a shake back. All right. What card do you want to put it on? Do you guys see it? No. Yes or no? Yeah. Some of you right now, you don't get it. Who needs to believe in his company more than anybody else? Yeah. This isn't an objection. They don't believe in you yet. Dude, you guys get so lost in objections, like some word track's going to close this stuff. Number one, I created uncertainty and I created certainty. I created uncertainty and I said, hey, listen to me, 99% of problems, the biggest stresses in people's lives come from a move. So I understand why this is so important, which is why I'm gonna ironclad handshake, reach my hand through the phone, I'm gonna tell you how this is gonna work. Okay, and you're gonna take, take this deal because I'm a man and I'm gonna back up my word. And when it comes to taking care of your wife, I know this, you're not gonna know any moving company you reach out to, so you're gonna have to have somebody that firmly believes that they know exactly what you're gonna go through if this doesn't go right. She's gonna be pissed, but I'm not gonna let that happen. And I got your back and I'm gonna make sure this goes smooth and easy. Do me a favor, you got a pen on you? Write this down, smooth and easy. Write down no problems. Write down mama's happy. Draw a smiley face. You see that? Yeah. All right, cool. My name's Andy Elliott. Write that down. This is my personal cell phone number. I'm going to take care of this right now for you. Do you see that? Yeah. Guys, that's how you sell. Is that how you sell? Yeah. That's how you sell. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.